good job, peace. My name is Anthony Fascist Martinez. I'm here with the National Boricua Human Rights Network. We've been putting together the 30-day prison cell project right here on 176 East 106th Street between Lexington and 3rd Avenue in El Barrio, Spanish Harlem, East Harlem. And basically we've been uh, trying to raise awareness on the political prisoners, specifically um, Carlos Alberto Torres y Oscar Lopez Rivera um, for their time in prison and for the liberation of an island, Isla de Borinque, in Puerto Rico. So basically, <clears throat> in my hand, I have three, as you see, pieces of wood. They call Palo Santo, um, de la Selva in Peru. These are kind of like how the Native Americans use sage to kind of cleanse aura and uh, they burn it like ritualistically. <clears throat> I have three pieces. One piece is for Carlos, one is for Oscar, and the other piece, which you'll notice is a little bit larger, um, is also for all the other political prisoners across the globe um, who have either passed away, who are still in prison, and or who have been liberated and are still struggling for those who are still in prison. Um, I mean, there are countless names from Mumia Abu Jamal to Leonard Partier to um, Avelino to a lot of people who are still in prison for their beliefs. So this is a larger, this is a project that we've been working really hard to put together, but it also speaks to a larger spectrum of this. So, can I get a light? Yeah, a little bit longer. So this one will be for Oscar, which I hope he feels is. Um, this one is for Carlos. It's a lot of, a lot of fight and a lot of fire to hold up to. And this is also to respect our ancestors, our many elders who have put a lot on the line for us to be able to be here and have the privileges we have. So this was lit for those who I think need that fire rejuvenated to continue to raise this awareness, to continue to engage in this dialogue, which is very important. And a lot of people within the New York chapter, um, within the Philadelphia chapter, Michigan, Puerto Rico, and in Chicago have been working for the National Boricua Human Rights Network from ground up, you know, um, a lot of folks out here from the Bronx, from Queens, from El Barrio, different parts of New York City worked really hard from the construction of the cell, which you see here, from promoting, from getting volunteers, to get people to volunteer to be a prisoner for a day, to get um, people to be a guard for the day, and to open and close the cell, to pay for the rent. You know, this is not funded. This is um, something we believe in, so we've been putting and coming out of our own pockets for this. And we believe this is important, important enough for it to be in the middle of a city like this, for this kind of awareness. And it's happening at the same point in different points across the country. And, you know, a lot of people, I think it's given us time to reflect and time to imagine what it would be like for us to spend a full day in prison and to study and to learn and to communicate with those within our own community. A lot of the community members come in and just start talking and we engage in that important dialogue to speak about why we're doing this, why it's important why we make music about it, why we travel to other countries and speak to folks about it, and why through all that they're still in prison. And 
a lot of people hopefully can continue. We, we could take the momentum of what's been built from this and move forward to other projects. We're going to be working on a mural, which we'll be painting also in El Barrio um, from the ground up and putting that together and unveiling it at some point, which will be uh, announced soon. But these are all different things that require a lot of effort. So if you have seen this project, if you've come visited us, if you volunteered, if you've played any role in the efforts of putting this together, please make sure you come back. Um, if you haven't, try to visit, you know, and uh, see, see what we're doing and see why we're doing it and see how you can get involved. You know, um, this is important work. You could visit uh, buriquahumanrights.org, check us out and see what other events we have coming up, what other artists we're working with, what other projects we're putting together so you can help be a part of this. But La Lucha, it, it continues, it doesn't stop. You know, so hopefully we do get to uh, get the release. And we have petitions as well, make sure y'all sign that. But uh, this definitely goes out to them. Canto a Don Pedro Alviso Campos. Genio del mundo de las almas libres, sembrador de visión y de conciencia, nunca en nuestra patria vencerán los ignorantes que la soga aprietan. El que no reconozca su grandeza, el que se empeñe en negar su inteligencia, el que insista en marchar sus intenciones, niega la lucha, niega la patria, la resistencia. You know, I managed to cook a variety of food in here. Yeah, matter of fact, I'm infamous for my cooking and for my inventions. See with these pruning stoves, I can make rice, beans, chicken, tortillas, fried chicken, basically anything I like. Look at my island, still colonized. I feel Philly Belto, his spirit is alive. Open up my eyes and I feel so shy. Midwest, midway, girl, I'm so fly. Dale adobo, dale sazón. Mi cultura represento en esta canción. Understand it's time to fight for your rights. Too many black and brown brothers have lost their life to the uniform killers with their little flashing lights. They harassing the youth every single night. I'm a street journalist, periodista de la esquina. La guerra en Irak es por la gasolina. Somos estudiantes, no somos terroristas. It's only la tere matando esta pista. Freedom for my isla, it's so enchanted. I will never stop until this movement is massive. Querido Carlos, mucho gusto, soy señor Martinez. Me llamo Anthony, pero puedes llamarme fascist. I'm writing you a letter just to introduce myself. We never met, but best believe I'ma hold you down. The FBI says you're a terrorist, as deadly as a missile wizard by a religious temple when decadent. They say your clandestine operation semi-famous and 77 top 10 before Larry Davis. I read your case and I was bugging when I peeped your sentence. In 1980, you were captured and arrested now. That was 30 years ago. You're still in prison. That's longer than a needed silence. But not longer than I'm bombing beaches on an island. Longer than I've been on earth trying to make it rhyme. And longer than the long term effects of Biekas. That's longer than some murderers get. Longer than a rapist. I can see my foul gaining pages as I make these statements. But fuck the CIA and motherfuck Ronald Reagan. Yo te amo, Puerto Rico, Isla de Borinquen. Del Caribe, Cuba, Jamaica, y Haiti. Even President Clinton released your other patrons. The late Coretta Scott King supported campaigning. Bishop Desmond Tutu was to a devotee. I met your other compañeros. Went to Chicago, visited the school you founded. Don Pedro Abisu Campos High School, originally named after Rafael Cancel Miranda, the man who in 1954 with the lethal LeBron busted shots in the House of Reps, waving our flag. And one last note, we miss you. Come home.